Hi, welcome to another episode of African Biographics. In this video, we are not profiling an actual person, but we are looking at one of the most ambitious projects to come out of Africa. This ambitious project is called the Great Green Wall, and it is Africa's flagship initiative to combat climate change and desertification and address food insecurity and poverty. The major driving point for this project is that the Sahara Desert is growing. The Great Green Wall is looking to grow an 8,000 km natural wonder across the full width of Africa. Since 2007, millions of trees have been planted across the southern edge of the Sahara Desert with millions more to go. In this video, we take a look at the conception of this project, the current progress and its expected impact. If you are a returning subscriber, thanks for the support and if you are new to this channel, don't be shy to click the subscription button and the notifications bell so that you don't miss out on any new uploads that come out every Monday and Friday. The dream of making a great green wall dates back to the 1970s when vast amounts of fertile land in a region called the Sahel, which spans across the southern edge of the Sahara Desert, started to become severely degraded. The reason why this once lush region started to turn increasingly dry and barren is due to the combined effects of climate change, population growth, and unsustainable land management practices. Without enough productive land to grow food or sustain decent lives, poverty began to emerge in the Sahel region. Over the years, this has fueled several food and water shortages, conflicts over declining natural resources, mass unemployment, and forced migration. Fast forward to 2007, this project moved over to the front burner of the African Union's policy. That's when countries across the region took the bold step of turning this long-standing African dream into a life-affirming reality. The hope was to see 100 million hectares of barren land producing once again. Additionally, the Great Green Wall would create millions of jobs, especially in rural areas. The Great Green Wall is a cross-continental barrier stretching from Senegal to Djibouti that would hold back the deserts of the Sahara and the Sahel. Once complete, the wall will be the largest living structure on the planet, an 8,000 km natural wonder of the world, stretching across the entire width of the continent and three times the size of the Great Barrier Reef of the coast of Australia. It is said that it will improve livelihoods of one of the world's poorest regions, capture carbon dioxide, and reduce conflict, terrorism, and migration. The Great Green Wall Project is funded by the African Union. Initially, the plan was to just plant a line of trees, but it quickly evolved into a tapestry of different environmental interventions using a range of ecological tools to construct a belt of greenery across the continent. Although trees are still the primary focus, other methods are being used to help restore the land. Initially, there were 11 countries that signed up for the initiative, but now the group has expanded to 20 countries. These are some of the objectives of this project. By 2030, the ambition of the initiative is to restore 100 million hectares of currently degraded land and create 10 million green jobs. This will help communities living along the wall to grow fertile land, one of humanity's most precious natural assets. Also to grow economic opportunities for the world's youngest population, to grow food security for the millions that go hungry every day, to grow climate change resilience in a region where temperatures are rising faster than anywhere else in the world, and also grow a wonder of the world spanning 8,000 kilometers across Africa. The Great Green Wall of Africa has covered only 4% of its target area, but it is about 15% complete. Despite this, the success of the project has been far greater than initially expected. Nigeria, Senegal, Burkina Faso, and Ethiopia have so far seen the greatest gains across the Sahel region. Ethiopia has seen 15 million trees of degraded land restored. In Senegal, 11.4 million trees have been planted and 25,000 hectares of degraded land has been restored. The seedlings in Senegal's reforesting projects are usually locally sourced and selected for their drought resistance and hardness. They plant thorny desert acacias which carry their own protection from grazing animals and in the dry season they shed their leaves to conserve moisture. They also plant baobabs and these are known to live for a very long time even under drought conditions. In Nigeria, 5 million hectares of degraded land has been restored and the initiative has seen 20,000 jobs being created. Burkina Faso has planted almost 17 million plants and seedlings and Chad has planted 1.1 million. Other countries though have lagged due to different geographies, level of governance and economic development. Another problem that is being faced is how to track the project. This is because there is not a good monitoring and evaluation system in place. Doubt has also been raised over the survival rate of the trees that have been planted in Senegal. But like I mentioned earlier, success of this project is not just linked to how many trees have been planted or how much area has been covered. 
Another measure of success is to look at the empowerment and development of the surrounding communities in the region of which this is actually taking place. The United Nations Deputy Secretary General Amina Mohammed has said that the Great Green Wall is a new world wonder in the making and it shows that if we work with nature rather than against it, we can build a more sustainable and equitable future. The Great Green Wall can be a game changer for Africa, transforming the lives of millions of people by creating a great mosaic of green and productive landscapes across North Africa, the Sahel and the Horn of Africa. If you'd like to learn more about this project, you can visit www.greatgreenwall.org. This is the website that is entirely dedicated to documenting this project. I'll also put some links to interesting articles in the description box down below. One other thing that I would like to mention is that there's a campaign called Growing a World Wonder, which aims to make the Great Green Wall famous around the world. This campaign calls on global citizens everywhere to spread the word, put pressure on governments and advocate for long-term investment. Let me know in the comment section below if this was the first time hearing about this project and also if you think that the project is going to be a success. Remember to like and share the video if you enjoyed it and found it useful. This has been Tatenda for African Biographics. Until next time, cheers. Have a good one.